Welcome back painting friends. Today we're gonna paint a cozy little Christmas fireside scene. You're gonna need every color. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, brown, black, and white. And please excuse my voice. Um, definitely losing it right now. Um, I like to use my favorite four brushes. I've got my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag handy for keeping your brushes clean. And remember, you need to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that I can keep making videos for you. And check out our Facebook page also, Painting With a Purpose. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got my one inch flat brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have right here in the center, a black rectangle that our fire is gonna go in. We're gonna have um, a hearth and a mantle and everything else going on. So I'm actually gonna paint my big black rectangle or square first so that it can start to dry. So I'm just going to take my black paint and pull these lines across, making a nice square shape. If you want to make yours a rectangle, feel free to. My fireplace at home is pretty close to a square. In fact, actually, look, this is turning into a rectangle, isn't it? Drop it down a little bit more. From there, I could take my brush, I can wipe it off, wash it off, and then I am going to add in the background color of my um, wall. And this is really your choice. You do not have to pick the same color that I pick, completely up to you. Um, but I'm gonna paint everything else in with a brown color. So I've got some brown right here. And I'm gonna paint everything else in brown. wash my brush off, wipe my brush off. Let's go ahead and add our mantle in. So I'm gonna stick with my one inch flat brush and I'm just gonna grab some yellow paint. So right up here above my fireplace, I'm just gonna make a yellow line that goes across all the way across my canvas. I'll wipe that brush off, grab some white paint, drop some spots of white in there and do it again. wipe my brush off. I'm going to grab a little bit of brown and a little bit of black. I'm going to do it one more time. Pull those colors across. That's going to help us get a wood grain look. If you want more of the wood grain look, just add a little bit more of those colors in there and only pull it across one or two times. Perfect. All right, down here on the bottom, I'm just gonna take white paint and I'm gonna go really close to the edge of my black fireplace and pull these colors across. So it's gonna be lighter at the top, and as I brush this color down, it'll get darker. All right, we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add in the second round of details. So now that we have a dry background, let's go ahead and lay out some of our areas. Um, I'm gonna take my number 10 round brush, and I'm gonna use some white paint just to kind of lay out where I need some things to go. So first of all, my fire. 
Um, you can make your fire any way you want. I like to start with a, a curve shape right in the middle. Okay, so just a single flame. And then from there, you can layer your flames in, but they're gonna get smaller as they go out, okay? So all this is, is it's a point with a swoop down and the opposite on the other side. Now, they don't have to be symmetrical. In fact, I don't think they should be symmetrical. So after I have a couple of those laid in there, I'm just gonna paint this all in white. From there, we're gonna have two sets of legs sitting right up here. So I'm gonna make two rectangles. Okay, so that's one set of legs, really easy. And then the other set of legs over here. So two rectangles. Go ahead and clean those up and paint those in as also. From there, we're gonna put feet on them, okay? So the feet are gonna be a little bit more narrow than the base, and you're not really gonna see the toes once you get up here. So I'm just gonna start with a, a base that's gonna be the heel, and then a longer one at the top for the foot, okay? So it's just gonna be kinda like a figure eight. Now, you can add as many stockings as you need. Some families have a ton of people, some families don't. Mine have four, so I'm gonna put four stockings on here. So for my stockings, I'm gonna make a rectangle that kinda goes down at an angle. And then from there, I'm just gonna make a curved line to make the bottom of the stocking. Now right up here at the top of my mantle, I'm actually gonna take an, some white paint and I'm gonna make part of a circle. Okay, so it's just gonna be like the top part of a circle. This is gonna be a Christmas wreath that I have up here. And if you wanna add any kind of Christmas decorations that maybe you have at home on your fireplace, um, you can always add those in. So I'm just gonna make a, a small green circle. All right, we're gonna let this dry and when we come back, we are gonna add in all those final details. All right, so we're gonna go from the top down on this. I got my number 10 round brush, it's my favorite brush to paint with. I'm gonna take both green and yellow on my brush and I'm going to just take lines and pull them out at an angle going all the way around. I want some green to show, I want some yellow to show. So, and then I'm gonna do the exact opposite thing on the inside. Now, let's look down here at our fire. I'm actually gonna paint the outside edge of my fire orange first. So I'm just gonna go through here and I don't have to paint the exact outline that I started with. Like, I don't have to take this orange all the way down. I can kind of make it just go down a little bit, okay? So we're gonna paint the entire outside orange first. Then we're gonna paint the center yellow and blend it in. We'll finish off with just a little bit of red. We don't need a whole lot of red. All right, so with a brush that has a lot of white, this is not white, this is yellow. I'm just gonna go right here along these edges, kind of blend those oranges in. 
Now, if you get a little bit too much orange on your brush, just wipe it off. Grab some more yellow. We do want yellow to be our primary color, which is funny because it technically is a primary color, but we want yellow to be the main color that we see. And then we're gonna use small little brush strokes so that some of that yellow kind of floats up. I just wipe my brush off again. Some of that yellow kind of floats up. Some of it kind of stays down. Keep wiping that brush off often. I'm even gonna take a little bit of white and put it here in the center. The very last thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of, oh, okay, not the very last, the very last on this little bit of red. And I'm just gonna add little small lines of red through here. Okay, I don't wanna add a lot. I don't want that red to mix too much with the yellow and the white. Just small little lines of curved red. I love that. Wipe it off, wash it off. Now, my people are both gonna be in blue jeans, so I'm just gonna paint their pants in with a blue, okay? I'll make this one a little bit of a lighter blue so I'm gonna add some white to my blue and all I did was just dip my brush right in my white as I was painting I'm gonna take a little bit of purple on my brush and I'm just gonna kind of brush in some purple on the edges of these so that it looks like there's some dimension. They're not just, you know, flat rectangles. A little bit of purple on the edges to show a little bit of a shadow. Pull that color up towards the center so that the center's a little bit lighter. wash my brush off and grab a little bit of white and put it in the middle just to extra lighten it up let's just kind of clean these lines up a little bit love 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 this you can make your socks any color you want I'm gonna have some fun with mine um, I think I'm gonna make these socks over here red. make these ones over here a light purple so I'm gonna grab some white and some purple and do the same thing over here now you can make your Christmas stockings however you want I'm gonna keep mine pretty classical so I'm gonna keep mine red and greens so I'm gonna do every other one. One's gonna be red, one's gonna be green. I'm gonna keep the top white for some fluff. Up here in my tree, I'm gonna take the back of my brush and I'm gonna add little berries, three at a time. 
on my wreath. I'm going to take a little bit of yellow paint and just kind of make some small lines to show maybe where the highlight of my fire is hitting the edges of my fireplace. A little bit of that yellow right here on my hearth. a small white highlight at the top of my mantle and then a small yellow highlight at the bottom again the fire is kind of showing off up there take the back of my brush and add just a couple of well, I like to call these campfire glitters just little sparks that are coming up And then we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add in all of the final touches. All right, let's add in any final last minute details. First, I'm gonna take some white paint and I'm going to dot and dab up here at the top of my stockings to make them look a little more fluffy. I like my paint to be really thick when I do things like this because it really holds up well when it dries and it looks like there's fluff at the top of your stockings. Now, if you wanna add any names on your stockings or uh, any fluffy toes or fluffy heels, you can absolutely add those things in. I'm gonna go into my fire and add a couple of the swirled lines of yellow same thing I did with the red, but I had to wait till it dried to add the yellow to it. I'm gonna add a little bit of the white as well. Just a couple of little squiggly lines in my fireplace. For my socks, I'm gonna go ahead and add some, little bit of a lighter color to the toe. So I could take some white Just kind of add a small little lighter toe to my socks. If you want to add any decoration on your socks, you can. Like I might add some polka dots on this one. And maybe just for fun, up here I might add, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna add a small little Christmas tree right here. So I'm using white first because I want the green to show up well. So I'm just making a straight line with some curved lines down. And I'll go in with some green paint and I'll paint right over top of that. Now it is time for our highlights. I always like to add highlights at the end because I really think they make everything pop. So I've got my number six round brush and I'm gonna make a highlight right here at the top of my ledge. I'm gonna put some highlights on the tips of the toes. And that just means I'm taking white paint and adding some lines. I'm gonna put some highlights on my stockings. And these are ghost lines, which means that you see some of them, but you don't see all of them. I'm gonna add a couple of little highlights up here on my wreath. Maybe even on my trees as well. A 
Last thing I need to do, same thing I always do. I always sign my initials in the bottom right corner so I know that I painted it. Make sure that when you're painting your pictures that you go on my Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose, and share your pictures there. It's the only way I get to see what you're painting at home. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of my latest tutorials. I'm gonna add some white dots too. And remember, as I always tell you guys, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.